Welcome to OptiScience University. In this video, I'd like to show you the basics of using OptiScience platform. For the purpose of this meeting, we picture the square as our TV screen. OptiScience is compatible with most operating systems such as Windows, Linux, Mac, Android, Fire OS, Raspberry Pi, Chrome OS, and Roku. Once we download the OptiScience application on our device and run the application, we will see a pairing code on our TV display like this. Next, we log into our OptiScience platform using our computer. Go to the Screen section. Click on Add Screen. In the pop-up window, type in the pairing code we see on the TV and click on Pair. In this section, we can edit the information about each display device. Give the screen a name, add any tags to the screen, like which building and what part of the building it's located in. This will help you identify the screen easier. There are three types of contents to assign to one screen. Asset is a single file meaning one image, one video, or one content playing continuously on the screen. Playlist is a series of contents playing back to back in a loop, like an image, then video, then social media, and so on, repeating in a loop. Schedule is a specific content playing at a specific time of the day that we schedule for it to play. For now, I will play a playlist, but I will show you all three options. Now that the screen is paired and playing, we can go to Files and Assets section. This section is like our computer cloud folder. We can upload all contents here and organize them for later use. There are three ways to save files to our Files Assets folder. Upload files, simple drag and drop from your computer folder. Templates. In here, we have over 500 pre-made templates for use. You can create a design from scratch. Search for any templates. For example, I will search for Mother's Day and select this template. I want to change the background, so I'll remove this one. Go to Images section and search for Mother's Day. Select this image and change the text. I will add a QR code to help my customers engage with my advertising easier. I can also add widgets like time, date, weather, and others, which I will cover in another video. My template is ready, so I will save it to my platform for later use. Next, we have apps. There are many applications you can select from based on your need, like social media, YouTube and website, Google, and Yelp reviews, many different news channels, calendars, drives, and data dashboards like Power BI and other office use apps. Zoom and Microsoft Meetings, interactive kiosks, flash messages, and a lot more. The way I explain it is, you can click on the app, go to the bottom left, click on the Help button, and this will show you all the step-by-steps with arrows and pictures, giving you all the information on what you need in order to set up that app and deploy it. I will create a simple weather app this time. Click on the app and basically answer all the fields required to customize it. Give it a name, select location, select my preferred design or fully customize one. It will look something like this or like this for social media wall, social media single post, news app like this. One of the apps that almost all of our customers use is a split screen app. We can create multiple zones for multiple content to play on the TV at the same time. Customize one from scratch or select one pre-made, then make changes to that. Add zones, adjust the size of each zone, or remove anything you don't like. For example, I want to put a logo on the top left corner. Put a scrolling strip in front of that, Add a playlist to the main section, social media to the right, and weather on the bottom. We can preview the content and make sure it all looks good before saving it on the platform. Let's make a playlist next. Now we have the contents created. We can put them inside the playlist. We can create a playlist and drop all the contents in order that we want them to show and select the number of seconds we want each content to play. That's it. You can always adjust the playlist as you wish. Next is Schedule. 
we can set a specific time of day to play a specific content, like you see in this schedule. We have morning, noon, and afternoon schedule, set for every day. What we need to do is select the day, click and drag the time for the content we want to play. Select the content and how often we want it to repeat, daily, weekly, monthly, or even fully customize it. For example, we want this content to play once every two weeks on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Once we have the schedule saved, it will look something like this. We have the other feature for the schedule that is very useful, and that is setting the asset to go live and expire on each content in our Files and Assets folder. We have three options, Select, Preview, and Menu. We can click the Menu option and select Set Asset to Live Expire. In the pop-up window, select the time and date that we want for the asset to go live and set up the time for the asset to expire. We can even set it to automatically remove from the platform by checking this box. We save the asset, once we put it in our playlist, and we forget about it. Now the content is in our playlist, but it will show on its specific date and time, and it will disappear again. Now that we have our content created, we can go to the Screens page and assign the content to the screen. We click on the desired screen, and now that we know we want to change the schedule, we will select our schedule and assign that to the screen. And that wraps it up for today. Thank you for watching.